Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Dave with Amari Productions and today it's the wedding of Sophia and Tyler. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, what was super unique about this wedding is that on top of filming in our traditional role for their wedding films, we were also capturing all of the footage and interviews for their wedding vlog. So as you watch this film, if you start wondering to yourself, oh my God, does Amari always send four videographers to weddings? That seems like a lot. Uh, yeah, it is a lot. I uh, know, normally we only send two. This was an extremely unique situation. And in a way, this is crazy because we have done over the years hundreds, hundreds of wedding films. You know what we've never done before? Film for a wedding vlog. You know what's gonna happen with this wedding vlog? The first one we've ever filmed? It's going to get more plays than every wedding film we've ever made. Combined. <laughs> venue Hacks by Mario Productions. Nothing like showing up to a venue and immediately starting to dismantle it. We need to be able to open this window so that we can film through it for the ceremony but this lock won't let us. So we're gonna see some nice dead flies right there in case anyone's hungry for a snack. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that might be a live spider. Yep, yep it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the reason we need this window open is here at Carondelet, there is no side aisles. So what we can do here is come out of this patio, have these, <laughs> It got me. Come out onto this patio, have these windows ready to go, sneaking in and getting our shots. And then sneaking out. Ooh, look at that. meeting at Carondelet. A couple of quick shots. Now Bonnie and Mariah are on their way to Sophia and Tyler's house where Tyler's getting ready and Maddie and I are gonna head to the Ritz where Sophia's getting ready. My car is a mess. And now we'll do a shot-by-shot -shot breakdown of Maddie's car. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Nobody else is supposed to see this but me. <laughs> Flashback. Bonnie and Mariah are on their way to Sophia and Tyler's house where Tyler's getting ready. I was supposed to do our first check-in like this at my house and then I got like kind of a uh, lost in the fray and then I came here. <laughs> I feel like this is fine for us to do a check in here. My house is really dirty, so it's better that we're here. A little bit. To go up and then down? Yeah, that'd be cool. Looks good? I 
Should probably hit record. Is that good or? Okay, yeah, whenever you want to go check yourself out. I'm gonna like awkwardly crab walk over there. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I do it? Go for it. I'm like nervous. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, I love it. Yes, I have a lot of hair. <laughs> Sophia's hotel. We finished up hair and makeup, heading over to the venue where she will. Uh, we'll get some shots of her dress and get her getting into her dress. Mariah and Bonnie are with Tyler. He is accounted for at the venue. Also, my ears need to pop because we just dropped 24 floors in like three seconds. And now I'm dizzy. At this point in the day, things started moving pretty rapidly. So I don't have any check-in footage uh, after Sophia got in her dress before their first look. As a matter of fact, here's the one five-second clip that I have. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. How's it going? Dave, and that's it. But let's talk about what's about to happen. So if you've never heard of a first look before, uh, the name kind of gives it away. It's where the bride and groom see each other before the ceremony. And if you're wondering uh, how common that is, it's very common, or why couples do that, uh, we actually did a video on that a few weeks ago. I'll link to that in the description below or uh, on the, one of those card things up here. I don't, I don't know how those work. Here's what I love about first looks. And I'm gonna spoil one of the points in our other video, but a first look allows you, allows the two of you, to have that moment of seeing each other for the first time on your wedding day in a much, much more intimate environment. And very practically, what that can mean is that oftentimes you end up with a much more real, genuine moment. Fine. There's plenty of space left. The building has burned down. It's fine. 
Oh my god, okay, and now we lost another room. That guy that walked okay. by with the bags of ice? Okay. I'm pretty sure he was holding two bags and I just All had right. two crashes, so that there should be There we go. Okay, he's done. Awesome! We are here at Carondelet House. Uh, it's been actually about four hours since our last check-in because when we got here, things just started kind of happening rapid fire, so we haven't really had time to check in yet. We're gonna run upstairs where Sophia and Tyler are resting before their ceremony and film one last check-in before they walk down the aisle. All right, guys, I'll try to check in with you again a little bit more consistently through the rest of the day. All right, I'll see ya. I'm leaving my wife, I guess. You just you just hang out here for this like dramatic walk away. Okay, I'll leave. Okay, but like, come with me, come with me, come with me. <laughs> well, I guess next time you see us and we're talking directly to you, we're gonna be married. That's true. I have my tripod set up here, but usually what I like to do is swing around to the front so I can get some shots of the parents um, and different reactions and things. And so in order to do that this time, because we have this beautiful spotlight, and my tripod and this tiny little space, I have to crawl under my tripod. So. Can you can you um, show our audience what that's gonna look like? I'll hold this. <laughs> so I'm shooting, I'm shooting, and then I go, and then I have to go back. Yay! Meanwhile, ideally, we get this to balance. Like that. Although, let's see. If this starts to fall, is it gonna fall out? It's gonna fall very loud. Yep. So I would just, oh, the like, lights, the as lights, much as possible, like, just, so I would just open it slowly because it's totally gonna shake their twinkle lights. Um, but, like, how it Okay, okay. Okay. Somebody has a free That's why we bring them along. <laughs> I think it's fun that we can have a celebration with our friends and family and for Mari Productions and their camera crew. So, <laughs> hi. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, I feel like I have a good idea. Right, guys and we just wrapped the ceremony they did it they are married uh, Tyler gave Amari Productions a direct shout out in his vows <laughs> and then Sophia waved at all of us so like oh my god ceremony went great the lighting that they rented for the ceremony was wonderful super helpful for Carondelet with how kind of dark it can get here now we are waiting for the reception space to finish being flipped from the ceremony site so that we can film some details and film Sophia and Tyler touring that space. I also, for the first time ever, flew the gimbal. Flew the gimbal? Shot the gimbal? Held the gimbal? Used? Used. <laughs> utilized. I also, for the first time, utilized the gimbal all ceremony because I was the fourth shooter there, so I really didn't, they didn't need me for anything else. And I learned that if you hold up a 20 to 30 pound stick with your arms locked out for an hour, um, it hurts a lot. That's why I'm sitting.
listening to one member of our team. All right, hopefully this is bright enough. But here's where we're at. Um, we have finished Grand Entrance. The reception site came out great. It is very crowded in there. There's a lot of tables, they have a lot of friends. Two big things left for us, the toasts and the uh, choreographed first dance. Um, after that, it's uh, pretty easy sailing. So we'll see, uh, see how it goes. We have one major event left, and it is the single greatest topic of discussion in all of our pre-production meetings, phone calls, and emails their first dance. Now we get choreographed dances all the time. I mean our channel's only been around for three months and I already have one, two, three choreographed dances on this channel. They're all really good by the way. You got a crazy groomsman dance that we didn't even know was coming. You want to hear that story? We've got a really really good uh, bridesmaids dance to Stevie Johnson used to play in the NFL and then we have this is the first time we have ever had this we have a surprise mother-son choreographed dance and then dad jumps in but all that to say we're very used to choreographed dances but there was just something about this one maybe it was all of the pre-production meetings and all of the additional homework we were doing or probably what it was was the knowledge that instead of oh this one might get a thousand plays uh, that no this one's definitely gonna get somewhere between like 5 and 15 million plays but there was so much work put into this dance by Sophia and Tyler uh, their team uh, my Lynn their producer uh, to make sure that this dance was executed flawlessly and they crushed it. You're gonna wanna be facing through. It's this way, it's up this way. When you stop, where is my stand right there? Where the chair is in the corner. You only gotta have see it'll be a shot of the person. Ready? Over here, and then elbow to you. Just like up your lips. Up here, like as the beginning of the dance. Kind of bring like a few people with them. was epic and here is what was so cool about this exact point in the evening because from here on out what you could see is that now everything all of the events all of the big moving pieces of the day were behind Sophia and Tyler they had finished it all and so now all that was left to do was to party Guys, if you enjoyed this film, please hit that subscribe button. 
ring that notification bell as we continue week after week to bring you love stories like this one. Give this film a like, join us in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Did you hit subscribe yet? When am I out of frame? Let me know when I'm out of frame. Am I out of frame yet? I'm out of frame? Cool.